Hey guys, this is Yash and you're watching Cancel Kicks. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Ultra Boost laceless in the grey and black colorway. So the shoe has a continental also like any other Ultra Boost on the market out there, with a red torsion plate on the bottom. Moving up to the midsole is a normal white Ultra Boost midsole, the most comfortable midsole in the world right now. But they've changed the color of the stability module to white, which gives the shoe a more uniform look. Now let's move up to the heel cage. This is my favorite heel cage out of any Ultra Boost I own. It isn't matte, so it's quite tough to get scratched up, and I think the white color heel cage looks great with this midsole. Now let's move up to the upper. It's an all prime knit upper with a double knitted toe box for additional support for a big toe. I don't like the design change, but I think it's better than what they did with the Ultra Boost uncaged with the three uh, stripes on the toe box. Now, most importantly, let's move to the midfoot area. It has got ribs moving all throughout the midfoot, and I think it looks great in this grey and black colorway. Moving to the sock color, it is the worst part of the shoe. The back of the sock color digs into your foot, and it's tough wearing it without socks. On the front of the collar, it sports a off-centered Adidas logo, which is a nice touch. I like what they did with the stitching on the back, and I think it makes the shoe look exponentially better. I think this shoe is a must buy if you're looking for a new Ultra Boost and I would rate it above every other Ultra Boost out there. Enough talking, let's put them on and see how these look. Thanks for watching and stay subscribed to Cancel Kicks.